How's it going? Carl here. Today, we're going to be diving into some Excel and some SQL. What we're going to be doing is taking some Excel data and importing it into Microsoft SQL Management Studio. This can also give you an opportunity to learn some more SQL. So without further ado, go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, leave some comments down in the comment section. If you have any questions or if you want to share any feedback, let's head to the desktop. All right, so I have some I have some imported custom data in my Excel here. Let's just get rid of the tab for the sake of the data. So right now I have ID, email, name, quantity, address, city, state, country, products, credit card, latitude, longitude, and cost. Now what we want to do, let's just paint the picture like I've been a heavy Excel user for most of my career and now I want to start learning some SQL because I've noticed that technology is evolving so I really just want to take the time to learn something new and teach myself some SQL so this is how we'll get started with that so the first thing you want to do I want to come down here to sheet and I just want to rename this to grocery sales the next thing I want to do is I want to come to file save as I want to save this as a CSV file. So I'm going to save this as a CSV file, hit save. Then we just want to go ahead and close this out. Let's close this out, get rid of this, and let's go ahead and open up SQL Server Management Studio. Now, once we open up SQL Management Studio, we can hit this. I feel like I opened it twice. Let's make sure it's not open twice yet. So let's close this other one. All right, so I want to go into a database. So let's pick a database that you want to use. Make sure that the table or the file name that you have for that Excel doesn't already exist. So the one I'm going to go with is this Health Analytics database. And I'm going to go hit right click and I'm going to go to task. And feel free to slow this down or pause it to write down some notes if you want to just remember the steps. The next thing I want to do is import a flat file. And then we'll have our wizard pop up. Our wizard will basically kind of give us some instructions and some heads up on what's going on as far as how we're importing this data. The next thing I want to do is hit next. Now we want to look for not that Excel file, but that CSV file. So we're going to hit browse and we're going to find the CSV file. And the way we know that is we click on it and we make sure that the data file says CSV. All right, so we're going to hit open. It's going to basically tell us the new table name. It's going to be grocery sales. Here's a chance for you to go ahead and change that if you want to. I would suggest just leave it how it is. Just hit next. Then it's going to give you a preview of the data that you're going to be importing into SQL. And it's going to give you some column names changed due to invalid characters, so on and so forth. That's nothing to worry about right now. Then we're going to hit next. Now, once we hit next, we're going to have a modify columns tab pop up. And the main thing we want to do here is just set a primary key. Usually the ID is that primary key, but your primary key could be anything. So I want to hit check mark on that. And then I want to hit next. And then it's going to give us a summary to complete the operation using the specific inputs. Click finish. So yes, I want it to be on this server. Yes, I want it to be in this database. Yes, I want the table to be this. And then we're going to hit finish. It's going to sell us insert data success. If it fails, you may have done something wrong. Then you want to hit close. Once you get closed, it doesn't pop up here automatically. But what you can do is you can right click on tables, you hit refresh. And now you see that your Excel has been imported. So you want to just do select the top 1000 rows, which is fine. This one has, I think, a thousand. 1,500 rows. So now you can see that your Excel file has been imported. Your CSV file has been imported into SQL Server, which is great. So now you can go into Power BI or something like that to import this from SQL Server. So now that you have done that, say you don't have a whole lot of SQL knowledge, this is the opportunity for you to kind of just play around in SQL. So let's just clear this here let's just say select and 
the main thing we want to do is have our from and we're going to be coming from that table so dbo the grocery sales all right so this is the main thing this is the table that we're going to be querying from so in our select statement we kind of look across the columns to see well what do i really want to you know investigate let's just say we want to investigate the the states so or the products let's see how many products we have so what we want to do is say products and to avoid any duplicates we want to say distinct product and then we want to hit execute and let's just say okay now we have an opportunity to see that we have wow a lot of different products so now we can kind of learn some of the SQL stuff and get familiar with using some of the SQL functions and kind of get away from the Excel. Having Excel is great, especially for you finance people. I know you guys love Excel, but learning how to do some of the same things in SQL will probably be the next best step for you. But I just really wanted to show you guys how you can import your Excel file into SQL. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to leave some comments down in the comment section. Feel free to provide some feedback if you have feedback. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again. Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.